In this session, we are going to see about the single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier with RL load. So the operation is uh, simple. So when we give the input supply AC signal, the output will be DC. Okay. So what is the operation during the positive off cycle? The thyristors T1, T2 uh, will conduct. Okay. During the positive off cycle, the current path will be uh, like this from uh, phase T1. Okay, current path will be like this the uh, from phase T1 uh, RL then T2 then neutral okay this is the current path during the positive off cycle during the negative off cycle the current path will be the neutral T3 RL load and then T4 and then phase okay so this will be the current path for negative off cycle so for positive off cycle the thyristors t1 and t2 will conduct for the negative off cycle thyristors t3 and t4 will conduct and the output will be appeared across the load rl load here we are using rl load now we we'll, we can see you can explain through this uh, waveform so this is the uh, input L, input to ac voltage uh, ac voltage at angle alpha okay at angle alpha we are going to uh, trigger the uh, thyristors t1 and t2 so at this duration thyristors uh, t1 and t2 will conduct and the output will be uh, this one okay the, this which will follow the input so see here this is because this reversal of voltage uh, is because of the inductance effect okay as uh, already i have explained about this inductance effect so this uh, reversal of voltage is due to this inductance effect so current also due to the inductance effect the current output current will be continuous so uh, see here there is a continuous flow of current then after this uh, at pi plus alpha this is pi plus alpha again we are going to trigger the thyristors t3 and t4 so they will contact and the output will be uh, this one okay this is the output uh, when t3 t4 uh, will conduct uh, this is due this is reversal of voltage due to the inductance effect okay so when t1 and t2 uh, are conducting this is the output and when t3 and t4 are conducting this is the output this is the continuous load current and this is what, what is the, the it1 and it2 that is the current flow through th thyristor 1 and 2 okay whenever the thyristors t1 and t2 are in conduction mode there is a current flow it means like that it means that okay so t1 t2 conduct uh, from alpha to pi plus alpha so for this duration you have to draw this waveform okay this is the current flow through the current uh, thyristors t1 and t2 then again here okay this is uh, due to t3 t4 and this is again due to t1 and t2 okay this is due to t1 and t2 so again here here it will come if you uh, exit this waveform this will be this waveform okay up to here it will come so this is the uh, again this is the uh, current flow through since the thyristors t1 and t2 conduct for these durations so there is a current flow from here to here okay up to here so this is it1 and it2 then what is it3 and it4 the whenever the thyristors t3 and t4 are conducting there is a current flow through t3 and t4 so here uh, for these durations that is uh, pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha t3 t4 conduct so there is a current flow so you have to draw the waveform here okay so this is the it3 and it4 so before this uh, this is the conduction period of t1 and t2 so before which the thyristors t3 uh, and t4 uh, would have uh, would have con conducted mm, so <coughs> so here this is the current flow through t3 and t4 okay so this is this, uh, this is the waveform um, for rectification mode okay because we are triggering the uh, thyristors at alpha is less than 90 degree okay uh, it may be 30 degree 
that is alpha is less than 30 degree since the thyristors are triggered less than 90 degree it is working in the rectification mode that is this converter acts as a rectifier next mode of operation this is the first mode of operation that is rectification mode next mode is inversion mode that is um, uh, alpha the triggering angle is greater than 90 degree so uh, this converter uh, is working at as inverter okay uh, so it is inversion mode of operation see here we have uh, triggered the thyristors t1 and t2 at angle 190 degree okay it may be it, it is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree. this is 30 60 and this is 90 this is 120 okay 150 and 180 so this is 120 degree which is uh, greater than 90 degree so uh, here we have triggered i1 and sorry, uh, thyristor 1 and 2 so this is the output this is the reversal of voltage so the thyristors conduct from uh, alpha to pi plus alpha okay again this uh, at this pi plus alpha another thyristors um, t3 t4 uh, are triggered okay so t3 t4 that means here the alpha is this is 180 degree it's okay this is uh, 120 degree uh, that is 300 this is 300 degree so uh, here again we trigger the thyristors uh, t3 and t4 and this is the output of uh, output due to the conduction of uh, t3 and t4 again t1 and t2 okay it goes on like this uh, so uh, due, because of this inductance okay uh, inductor as load rl load we have the continuous flow of current again this it1 id2 it2 as i told already in the in the rectification mode the same okay the whenever the thyristors t1 and t2 conduct there is a current flow through t1 and t2 so the current uh, t1 t2 uh, uh, conduction uh, uh, period is from here okay alpha to pi plus alpha so this is the current flow through it1 and it2 again it will uh, it will be so the t3 t4 then, then again here t1 t2 starts since it is not completed uh, they have not given okay so you, you can draw okay so this is also it1 and it2 okay it will continue then here it3 and it4 that is the current through three t3 and t4 so this is the period of uh, conduction of it3 and t4 so draw this waveform okay this is the current flow through t3 and t4 and again this is the period okay this period t3 and t4 conducts here to here okay so you have drawn here like this so this is the current flow through uh, thyristors uh, t3 and t4 okay so these are the uh, this uh, mode uh, two modes of operation that is rectification mode uh, which is all in which alpha is less than 90 degree and inversion mode in which alpha is greater than 90 degree then the average the output voltage that is vdc is equal to 1 by pi and uh, alpha uh, limit is alpha to pi plus alpha vm sin omega t so i, I have explained already clearly um, so take this vm outside vm by pi the if you integrate this sin omega t you will get uh, minus cos omega t then limit now apply the upper limit minus lower limit so minus cos of pi plus alpha minus of minus cos alpha minus of minus cos alpha that's why we have put here plus okay then vm by pi minus of cos cos of a plus b formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so minus of cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so here a is uh, pi and b is alpha so cos a cos alpha minus sin a sin alpha sin a sin b that is sin pi sin alpha then this cos alpha next step so <coughs> vm by pi minus of this cos pi value minus 1 minus 1 into cos alpha then this term will become uh, 0 okay so this term will be uh, 0 sin pi term uh, so uh, minus of minus 1 into cos alpha plus this cos alpha okay again what is next step vdc is equal to vm by pi minus into minus plus okay so 1 into plus 1 into cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha plus again another cos alpha 2 cos alpha so vm by pi 
2 cos alpha. So, Vdc is equal to 2 Vm by pi cos alpha. Okay. So, from this you can find all other parameters, all other performance um, parameters. Okay. You can find IDC, okay, average value of uh, current, thyristor uh, current, uh, all that you can find. Okay. So, this is about the uh, single phase uh, fully controlled uh, bridge rectifier with RL load. So, the next one is uh, single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier with RLE load. Uh, here, uh, the bridge rectifier, thyristor, four thyristors are used. Uh, this is single phase AC supply and this is the load, RLE load. Here, E is the battery, otherwise uh, motor. Okay, the operation, operation is same as uh, we have seen in RL load. So, I am not going to explain uh, elaborately. So, this is uh, uh, here also there are two modes of operation. Recti this is uh, for rectification mode which is same as RL load and this is the inversion mode uh, which is also same as RL load. So, I am not going to explain. Then uh, the average output voltage also the same uh, way we can derive it. And the difference is the average load current that is IDC is equal to VDC minus C here minus E term will come since we use the battery uh, and uh, uh, RMS output voltage V naught RMS equal to uh, the maximum voltage by root 2 that is Vs that is the supply voltage then average current through thyristor is equal to DC current by R okay this value will IDC by 2 DC current by 2 this current by 2 then RMS current through thyristor is equal to IDC by root 2 okay average current through thyristor idc by 2 rms current through thyristor idc by root 2 okay so that's all about single phase fully controlled uh, bridge rectifier with rle load thank you